Hello everyone, I really hope you're doing well. So today I'm gonna to do a review on these Paper Ideas hardcover notebooks. Those are from my recent stationery pal, stationery haul. It was one of my last videos, feel free to check it out. I'm gonna link it below. So if you're interested to see what I got, this was the box they came in. And as I said, I'm gonna do a review on those two today. They are hardcover notebooks, A5. This is the color Iceberg, and then it also comes in green, and they have several different colors, and then this is a dot, dotted grid, this is a blank, and I think they also have lined and graph paper. So if you're interested in those, I'm gonna link them below. Feel free to check them out. And if you wanna grab those, I have a discount code for Stationery Pal for 12% off. Just use the discount code JournalJoy. Alrighty, as I said, hardcover has a really nice soft texture to it. It's leatherette cover and then here's the spine and then the back it has the um, paper ideas embossed into it and some information on the journal and it has a really nice sturdy bookmark not bookmark um, elastic it feels like really nice quality here's the back of it and then it does come with two bookmarks in the same color this is that iceberg it's a really pretty light green, a little blue to it. Let's take off the sleeve. The paper is a hundred GSM, set A5. That means it is 14.3 by 21 centimeters or 5.6 by 8.3 inches. Let's try this again without the sleeve on. All right, let's open it up. See, it says paper ideas. You can put your name and address right here. And then this would make a great bullet journal because it does have some bullet journal features like a table of content, two pages, and then it goes into page one and it does have numbered pages. So you can see, and it is 188 pages here and then you have another blank page here and then you have a nice little pocket in the back you can see here so and the paper is really nice quality it has a super slick coated feel to it feels really nice and then you see the dots just in gray five millimeter dots and then there's a margin around the edges here with the dots. And what else? It is stitched and bound. Let me try to find the middle here. Show the stitching if I can. I think it's right here. There we go. I think my camera went kind of darker because there's so much white on the page. So I hope you can see this. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Um, yeah, and it does lay really flat. I can see it, we should be right there. So it's not a nice bonus. And yeah, then let's show you the writing sample. If I can find it. I'm not sure which one I did the writing sample in. Because I prepped this a while ago. Let's see if it's in the blank one. I'm gonna put it in the blank one. So here's the writing sample right there for this video. So we have a pencil, ballpoint pen, a couple of gel pens, and then roller balls. And then we have the Pilot Metropolitan medium nib with Diamond Marine ink. And then the Hero 330 fountain pen with a Fuda nib and Diamond Merlot ink. So as you can see, it handles the ink really well and does absorb quite a bit of ink but it doesn't feather at all. It's really nice quality paper. As I said, it's, it reminds me of Rhodia paper. There is some ghosting here, but there is no bleed through, even with the thick nib. So if you don't mind the ghosting, it is fantastic paper to write on because it is super smooth, super slick. As I said, it reminds me of Claire Fontaine and Rhodia paper. So I really love the way the paper feels. This is going to be for my next video where I show you all the pens I got from my stationery haul. 
So this is, as I said, the green one. It is essentially the same notebook as the iceberg one, just this one is blank. Again, number just like the other one, all the other features. So I'm not gonna go into the details all over again. Just wanna show you real quick. Um, really nice quality notebooks, in my opinion, at a really good price point. If you're interested, everything's gonna be linked down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching.